Jesse the body. Uh, I'm not going <laughs> to lie. No, I, I, I thought I looked over the headset, Jeff, but I think you're the winner. You like that? Yeah, I'm, I'm I do like that. I'm controlling airplanes around here. <laughs> That's right, baby. Do we get boxing names? Yeah, we got one here. So I want to introduce you. Welcome to the ring. How's it go? How does it go? In the blue corner. <laughs> Coming from way downtown, Center City, Philadelphia. Let's give it up for Jesse the Body Vandebo. <laughs> there he is. There he is. Uh. Love it. All right. So let's uh, wait a minute here. I got a couple more people coming in. What's up, Christy? Hello. What's up, Andy? Hey, I just got a referral from New Jersey. Oh, you did? Kathy, you did? Is, that Kathy? is that Kathleen? Or she Hi. I don't see you. I hear you. I hear you, but I don't see you. So in my office, I have Samantha. She's interviewing with us. And I said, hey, well, at the end of our interview, I said, do you want to see something cool? So my, my recruit is in the room with us. I love it. Yay. See, this, this is your first day on the job. This is what you have to do. You have to get in front of a bunch of agents in script practice. <laughs> you ready for it? We're going to judge if you make the cut. <laughs> no pressure right none no pressure all right, let's, let's go ahead let's get in so so let's uh let's just round up here so um so thank you all for for joining this this was a, a challenge that was given to me by coach craig goodliff um our coach and said you know we want to get everybody on our team to really hone in and focus on scripts and skills coming into this market and uh and you know put them up to doing a script battle and i said well, we just put it out there to everybody and see who's willing to step in and and then we just kind of like practice and, and make this kind of fun. So um, we have uh, we have with our team here from the Quinton Group. Let's give it up for Frankie Bones, Frank Levin. You there, Frankie? <laughs> Frank, unmute yourself. What's up, y'all? There he is. That's Frankie Bones. All right. And then also we got uh, Tracy, right? Tracy O'Brien, you there? Brian, yeah. What's my name? You got to tell us. I know. Us. I, I called you. I came up with TT the train, and I was like, "Oh, Tracy will hate this." <laughs> Tracy the train. Oh, well, yeah. Right, you guys all, all right, you guys all know your porn name, right? So the porn oh, star. God. Porn star oh, name. God. Is HR, HR, HR. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Let's just let's just go with it, right? So. How so does that go? What's your first pet name in the street you live on? So what's your so what's your first pet name, Tracy? A uh, bear. And what's the street you live on? Market. <laughs> bear market. <laughs> <laughs> Mine makes me extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> that's that, that okay. Bear spelled spell B A R E. Oh. Apparently. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so all right. So we got Tracy here. Good. And uh, and then Jim is Jim here? Or Jim Shannon. Where's Jim? Yeah, Jim's here. Hey, doing? What's up, Jim? How you doing, man? Hey, good. All right, cool. And uh, anybody else join us? Did um, hey, Kath, did uh, the Lipinski group by chance join in? They were gonna come on. Kathleen Garden, do we know do enough Lipinski's groups here? Yes, I invited them on and they are in meeting. Okay, no worries. All right, cool. All right, so let's begin. So kind of the rules of the game is we're just gonna have have uh, two of you guys uh, just kind of role play with each other. First up we got Frank and Tracy, next we'll have Tracy and Jim, and then Jim and Frank, and the first person um, will go ahead and uh, and basically role play their script. That they, so like Frank versus Tracy. Tracy, you'll be the seller if it's a seller script. Uh, next will be Tracy versus Jim. Jim will be the seller, and then Jim uh, versus Frank. Frank will be the seller, and then uh, so um, let's uh, let's just crank this out and have you guys just role play, and then we'll we'll record this, put it out there, and um, we'll vote on it and see who uh, see who wins. Now, kind of the thing I wrote in the the rules of the game is you know we don't want this to be a, a half hour long, right? Like let's role play to the desired result, and that's giving the appointment. Because that's what we need to always practice on. It's actually the desired result. We get too many no's, and then we get the yes. We kind of stumble and fumble. So we're going to like make sure this becomes a yes. But let's make it realistic as well, all the way through. All right? Is that cool? Excuse me. Yes. All right. Cool. All right. Thanks. So Frank, so Frank, tell us uh, what you're up to. What script you want to uh, you want to do? So let me just, Tracy. What market are you in? I'm in Indy. In in, in the, Indiana? Indianapolis. Indianapolis. I just going to write that down just so I could kind of make it. Hopefully, like re a, your normal residential market. I'm a really tough seller. Are you? Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> I just don't like realtors. Me neither. <laughs> I have to work with these guys. How do you think I feel? Right? 
All right, guys. So what are we going to do? So I guess right, I'm so let's, gonna... let's go ahead and roll. So Frank, you uh, you go first. Are you gonna, what, uh, what script are you going to go on? Uh, just just your normal uh, Mike Ferry expired script. Okay. Cool. All right. Rock and roll when you're ready, man. All right. So ring, ring. Hello. Hello. I'm looking for Tracy. This is Tracy. Hi, Tracy. It's Frank Levin with the Quinton Group at Keller Williams, Jersey Shore. I'm sure you figured out your home came up on our computers, an expired listing. And I was calling to see when do you plan to interview the right agent for the job of selling your home? My phone is ringing off the hook. I don't even have time to field all these calls. No problem. Well, you don't have to pick those up because you're talking to me right now. <laughs> when can I come out and apply for the job of selling your home? I don't, I don't really have time to sit down. I'd like to just hear some of your credentials over the phone. What uh, can you do totally. differently? I can appreciate that. And, and we're, just were you aware of that in the last 30 days right here in, in Indiana, 75 properties sold right in our little neighborhood? Wow. How is it? What do you think of that? Did you sell any of those? Absolutely. In fact, our team and myself right now, we're at approximately 32 homes sold for the year so far. So we're averaging 15 to 20 sales a month. What would be the best time for us to sit down and go over how we can get your home sold? How long will it take? 15, 20 minutes. Would tonight be good for you or tomorrow morning be better? I can't do either of those. I have company. Not a problem. When will you be available? Um, probably sometime next week. Perfect. So would you mind if I stop by for 15 minutes either this evening and drop a packet off or would tomorrow morning be better? No, I still have company. I can appreciate that. And what's your email address? I'll just shoot it over to you so you guys can preview it before we get together this week. Sure. It's bearmarket at indiehomes.com. Bearmarket at indiehomes.com. Excellent. So real quick, I mean, if you had sold this property, where would you go next? Um, I'm moving out of the state. You're moving out of the state? Yeah. Job transfer? Tell me more about that. I'm sick of the winters. I'm going where it's warm. Sick of the winter. I don't blame you. I'm just about as sick of them as you are. So, I mean, I'll be, Tracy, what do you think stopped your home from selling? I, I just think that my realtor wasn't very good at communicating, didn't really check in. I don't know if he followed up with all the showings. He was just kind of a jackass. Kind <laughs> of a jackass. Ouch. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like you had some showings, but you really didn't hear anything more about it because there was a big lack of communication, right? That's accurate. Man, I can't believe that. That's incredible because... I mean, look, look at the numbers right here. I'm looking at them. Just in the last 30 days, there were a number of homes sold. So other than your real estate agent not doing his job, what else do you think stopped your home from selling? I, I mean, that's really up to you. You're the expert. What do you well, think? Did you show it? Well, you're right. And as a matter of fact, since your home's been on the market, our team has sold close to 100 homes. So tell me, how did you happen to pick the last agent you listed with? He was my son's baseball coach. He was your son's baseball coach. I can, I can appreciate that. I mean, almost everybody has a friend in the business. So what did that agent actually do that you like best? Uh, nothing. Nothing? Ouch. What do you feel he should have done? He should have sold my house. Sold your house. Exactly. So then what will you expect from the next agent you choose? I will expect my next agent to communicate to follow up on the showings, to, uh -huh. I'd like my agent to be there for every single showing. Is that possible? So you want your agent to be there for every showing. You want them to communicate the results of every showing and ultimately just bring everything together so you're up, so everybody's on the same page, right? Right. Excellent. Have you chosen any other qualified agents to work with this time? I'm lining up interviews now. Terrific. So what would be the best time for us to get together this week? Would it be Tuesday or Wednesday at four? How about Tuesday at four? Tuesday at four it is. See you Good. then. All right, I look forward to it. See you then, thank you. Thanks, nice right. work. Awesome, good job, Frank. Give it up for Frankie Bones, yay. Good stuff, all right, good job. Good job, Trace, that was good. Thanks. Pretty realistic, right? I mean, she was tough. She was tough. Right, she's tough, but you know, that's what sellers are like. Especially when they're getting bombarded by a bunch of calls. They're going to get job, that. Tracy. Thanks for being right. tough. I appreciate that. Well, did you, how, how, did, how did you feel on this, Frank? What was it like? Um, 
I felt pretty good. I just had to remember to stick to the script and not get too far off track here. And, 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 and just really, that's it. Just stay focused on the, the appointment. Yeah, for sure. How about you, Trace? What do you think? I thought it was good. I like that you threw dates out really specific instead of just, you know, when can I come? How about tonight or tomorrow? That kind of stuff. It's hard. I feel like it's harder to resist when you give something real firm. Yeah, I was trying to back you into a, a, a time there because, you know, you, you know, when would be the best time? You really need to back him into a corner. And so if it's not good then, okay, when is it? Okay, it's not right. good then, when is it? So you, having you two know, alternatives. You're going to find out when it's good. Yeah. <laughs> I liked, I liked in the beginning when Frank said, right off the get, get go, uh, Tracy had said, I'm getting bombarded with all these calls. Frank said, well, you got me on the phone. You don't need to call. You don't need to take those calls anymore. That was a good one. Yeah. Right, right from the beginning, he was like, bang. Right? Don't worry about anybody else. I'm here. Right. Right. Started closing right away. That's awesome. Good job, Frank. Thanks, yeah. Tracy. Good job. All right, cool. So so let's uh, let's go next up. So Tracy, you're going to go ahead and be the agent. And Jim, Jim Shannon, you out there, buddy? Yeah, yeah. I'm here. All right, man, you're going to be the seller. So, uh, and I think you? Christy told me that we're just kind of doing like a, a, I'm going to just be fielding objections. So, Frank, we're just, you're just going to give me our, Jim. Who am I with Jim? Jim, you're just going to give me some objections and we're going to go to town. Cool. We have the objections too. That's awesome. So, Jim, you got your objections then? And you mean like at the table, right? To get them to sign? Right. Them. Yeah. Or like about my commission or things they have to do. Like we weren't going to do anything real specific like a script. It was just going to be like how I react to different objections. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I'll give so. it a go. All right. So hi, Jim. Nice to meet you. I'm Tracy O'Brien. Hi, Tracy. Nice to meet you. Oh, my gosh. I love your accent. Really? I think yes. you're from Malta. Yeah. So... Well, where are we in this process? I don't want to do my whole presentation. Are we at the end? Have I already presented? No, you just you just want to come around and talk to me about me selling my home. I'm currently got it on the market myself. Oh, you have it as a for sale by owner? Yeah. Oh, how's that going? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah? Uh, when would be a good time for me to come out and take a look at it? Maybe I have some buyers who would be interested. Um, have you got a buyer at the moment? Uh, I have several buyers, and my buying specialist probably has some that I can check with on my team. Have you have you done any deals in my area recently? I have, I have. We've closed twenty six houses in your area in the last year. In the last year, is that right? Yes, yeah, not. What uh, what was your highest price range? Um, our team averages around four hundred thousand for a sales price. Okay, because I was seeing my, I think my home's more rated towards the higher end, like probably above the half a million mark. Yeah, well, we we focus on luxury real estate, so you have the right agent. If, if hey Jim, did you know that did you know that houses that list with an agent actually sell about twenty six percent higher than for sale by owner homes? Are you sure about that statistic? Can you? Yeah, I'm positive about that statistic. That's because of our market knowledge and expertise. The statistics I, I've been shown aren't that hot, doesn't show that high. It doesn't? I think you're using the wrong search engine. Is that right? Which one? Where do you get your details from? Uh, that's from I think that's from the National Association of Realtors. Really? Yeah, it's evidence-based. They do a lot of research to get to those, da to those data points. Well, that's funny. The, the other broker I'm using or is, that I'm talking to has been quoting me different stats, and they're using the same... They say really? Real talk, yeah. Oh, well, how about if I come out and, and talk to you in person about it and we can kind of get over the obstacles? Why don't, why don't you give me a quick rundown of what you do over the phone first? And I'm, oh. I'm, most, most agents come with the same spiel and tell me they're going to sell me the world, but I don't, I don't necessarily see it. You don't? Yeah. Oh, I'm kind of stuck. It's weird because I can't see you. Really? Do you want... Is this better? Yes, this is better. Now I feel like I have a person. Okay, so so you, I can come out. I can do, we have very strategic marketing. We practice evidence-based real estate. We have a team of three. We're very productive. We're in the top 10 of the state of Indiana. Have you met with anyone like that yet? Um, no, I haven't. No, have you been meeting with individual agents or team agents? Uh, a couple of both. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think we should get something on the book so that I can come sit down and show you what we do. I have some cool presentations, some slides that I can go through with you. 
That's that sounds good. What commission do you charge? Um, I charge seven percent commission. Seven, really? Seven. Yeah. What What are the other people charging? Like four. Uh, well, you know, I I have a really good. I'm a certified negotiation specialist, so I can justify my worth pretty easily. And if I can't really justify my own worth, how can I hold your bottom dollar? How can I negotiate heavily for you? Okay. Would you be interested in negotiating um, or having a, a, a scaling commission? Um, that's something we could talk about in person. How about if I come by tomorrow? How's four o'clock? Uh, four o'clock's not good. I've got to pick the kids up from soccer. Oh, just leave them. No, I'm just kidding. How about Saturday at noon? You want to grab them on the way past? Yeah, for sure. Uh, that'd be great. How about I see you at four tomorrow? Okay, perfect. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks. All right. All right, we're finished. That was a weird one. Yeah. <laughs> I felt like I was talking on the phone the whole time. It's all good. That's good. That's good. So how, how did you uh, how did you feel about it, Jim? James? You want James or Jim? James, Jim, whatever. Jim, mostly. Um, I just want to listen to you talk, Jim. Keep going. <laughs> I was a little thrown off where you just wanted objections. I was trying to, like, um, yeah, I don't, know, I don't know if I was coming up with enough. Like, yeah. To work, make you work for it. Yeah, I think you stumped me a little bit. I was prepared for the commission objection. That's always one that we have to battle. Yeah. Give her, give her, like, let's do it. Jim, give her a commission objection. He just it, did. Oh, 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 I thought you said you were stumped. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Is 7% standard down there or you made that up? No, that's standard. Okay, cool. Yeah. What's standard for you? Oh, it varies. Um, yeah. Five and you split it, so it's two and a half each way. Yeah. Is this supposed to be an over the phone? Like, were you, are you supposed to be calling Jim over the phone or? Doesn't matter. I wasn't sure. I didn't know. It can be, it can be either or. Yeah, I'm just assuming I, you guys I, like this. This is an over the phone. We're calling this set of appointments, but I, I would say I would say more over the phone set appointments for setting to go meet. So setting the appointment for sure. So trying to obtain the appointment. Yeah. Yeah. yeah got it. That's the that's the goal. Cool. Yeah. Any feedback? On, any feedback on that, guys? My only yeah. feedback is 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 we're just in appointment setting mode. We're not in really objection handling mode per se. You just want to. Say, hey, that's a great question. And I'd like to stop by and show you exactly how much money I could get for your home. Like, cause, you know, you just want to get away from that handling that commission objection. right? Yeah. You might shoot yourself in the foot right off the bat. Yeah, see, I thought when we went into this, I thought it was more like I'm sitting down at the table and I'm competing for his business and I'm trying to get him to sign. So like you're, I was like you're on an actual appointment? Yeah, so I was sort oh, of in that okay. mindset instead of trying to secure an appointment. So I felt yeah. like I was switching between the two. Right. Yep. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I had to sort of adjust on the fly. <laughs> like we do. We can do it. We can we can go, we can come back again and do like a, just a just a script objection handler, you know what I mean too. Yeah, that would be cool. That's you know, just keep practicing either way. I like to get different right. ideas about how people handle those things, yeah. so that would be kind of cool. You know, what's good is is you know, with, with Jim's side, he kind of wanted to know what your statistics were or at least what your <laughs> track record was, and what's cool is you had all the stats right away. You know, we sold 26 homes in your neighborhood. And have you, I would like, I like when you said, have you just met with individual agents or anybody, actual team agents? That was cool. And then showing the value of the team, showing the value of, in the numbers. And you have a, you said, uh, I'm sure one of my buyer specialists has a buyer for your property. Mm -hmm. You know, so there was a specialized group. Right. That was pretty cool. Nice. Thanks. Alexa off. Yeah. All right, good. All right, so let's keep moving. All right, so next we gotta go. We're gonna go. Whoever's doing the Alexa thing, if you can mute out. Um, so let's rock and roll to uh, Jim versus Frank. All right, so 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 the, so we'll do the scenario so we understand. This is over the phone, right? Jim, you're the you're the uh, agent, and Frank could be the seller. And Frank, you're muted still. So if you okay, can unmute. So you, okay, so back to me again. So what are we doing? Yeah. Who am I? All right, so you are the seller, and Jim is right. the agent, right? Cool. So you guys cool. are just over the phone and. And then you can just uh, rock and roll. Jim, your right. picture's gone, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, Jim, we can't see you anymore if you turn your if your uh, if your camera's on. It's good because I need to read a bit. Jim, no cheating. Um, Frank, I'm just going to do a Fizbo script on you. Um, that's predominantly what I work on. Awesome. So, uh, ring, ring. Hello. 
Hello, this is, uh, this is Jim from Keller Williams. Uh, I'm calling about the home for sale at 234 Main Street. Is this the owner? Uh, yeah, Jim, this is, uh, this is Frank. I am the owner. How can I help you? Hey, Frank, great to, great to chat to you, Dave. Thanks for taking my call. I'm doing a survey of all the sale by owners in the area, and I was wondering, if you sold your property, where would you go to next? Well, we've actually, uh, you know, we have a property under contract right now, but, uh, you know, we're good. We have an open house this weekend. Oh, fantastic. So wh where's, your, where's your home under contract at? Uh, we're just on the other side of town. There's a new, that new development that uh, we have a uh, property under construction right now. Oh, brilliant. Um, how, uh, how soon till that's ready? We're just about uh, two months into it. So they told us about four to six months. I'm figuring on the, the far side of that. So another four months. Okay. So you've got a bit of time to sell this property. Um, what methods are you using to, mo to, to market the property? Um, well, I think that, uh, how did you get my number? I just, I pulled it off his Zillow ad, but I was just uh, wondering if you're using any other. other yes, I'm doing a lot of the same thing you guys do. I have my sign out front. I have, uh, I have it on Zillow. Uh, I have that cool little box where you put the brochures in out front in my yard and, and uh, word of mouth. Yeah, cool. How, um, how much activity are you having, Frank? Is that little box of brochures? Uh, we, well, we've only had it out there for a couple weekends, and one of the weekends the weather wasn't so good. And but uh, you know we're excited about this weekend. The weather looks better, but you know we've had we've had some moderate traffic and a couple phone calls. Yeah, cool, awesome. How did just a quick one? How do you determine the sales price? Well, you know, actually, uh, a friend of mine is in the business, and and he said I should try it on my own for a little bit. Um, uh, but ultimately, he sent me some comps and. You know, a couple of homes I've been uh, been been thinking about doing this for a while, so I've been keeping track of some of the homes that have sold in the area through the through the newspaper. Okay, fantastic. What? Uh, so you you decided to sell yourself rather than list with that agent? You... Yeah, well, he 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 recommended that I give it a shot on my own because uh, you know he knows that you know every penny counts. I'm moving, you know, to move. This is a big move for us. Yeah, cool. Okay. If you, if you were to list, which agent would you list with? Oh, this really aggressive guy, Jesse, called me um, the other day, and he sounded uh, pretty good, and he uh, he dropped his card off last night. So maybe Jesse. Good for him. Have you, have, you, have you met with Jesse? He just dropped his card off last night. Seems like a real nice guy, hustler. Yeah, yeah, awesome. If, if you were to list, what would you expect the agent to do to get your home sold? Well, I mean, what, you know, whatever we would you know, obviously put it on Zillow, right? But uh, be a hustler like Jesse. Yeah. What else does Jesse do? Get home yeah. We haven't really had a chance to uh, go over that, but I uh, told him to, you know, give me a call in a couple of weeks and, and then um, you know, maybe we'll sit down if the home hasn't sold. Yeah, cool. Are you familiar with what our team does to get home sold? I'm sorry, what, what, you, you said your name was Jim. What company are you with? Yeah. Jim, I'm with uh, Zimmerman Property Group. Zimmerman yeah. Property Group. I'm sorry, Jim. I, I don't know the Zimmermans. What, is that a company? Yeah, it's a, a branch of Keller Williams. We're on the Keller Williams. Oh, panel. Keller Williams. Oh, yeah, I've, heard, I've, I've seen their signs around. Yeah, we, we helped over 200 people last year uh, sell their homes. Wow, good for you. Do, you. do you have a few minutes to sit down with one of us and we can run you through what we do as a team? Well, I mean, you know, like I told Jesse, um, you know, in a couple of weeks, you know, feel free to give me a call back and, uh, you know, we'll let you know the results and if there's a, an appointment to be had and we'll set it then. Yeah, cool. Um, are you, uh, just a quick one, it's my role. We specialize in working with for sale by owners and our job is to keep the market moving and bring you a buyer. In the past, we've introduced buyers to for sale by owners. What type of buyer are you looking for? Would you consider financing the property for a buyer or are you looking to cash out? Uh, well, we need our cash out of this property, but uh, yeah, we're just looking to get our number and you know, uh, we're not looking for you know, any can crazy contingencies or like that. We just, want to get, we just want to get our price and a nice clean deal. Yeah, cool. You, you mentioned you're having an open house this weekend. Yeah, is that? Oh, yeah. My wife's real big. Uh, she, put an ad in Zillow and uh, yeah, so we're, we're looking forward to that. 
Yeah, sweet. We, um, I'm, I'm pretty proactive in the market. We like to know what all the inventory is out there. Do you mind if I swing past and at uh, five minutes at the end, just sit down and show you what we do differently? Well, we're going to be doing an open house. I mean, uh, we're not really ready to meet any agents yet, but if you want to stop by and, and drop off your card, then that, that's cool. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Would you, uh, would, would it be of value to you if I shot you an introductory email introducing our team just so you know a little bit more about us? Yeah, sure. Why not? You can send that over. Cool. That's What's a little different. Name? What's the best email? Uh, you know, frank at the Quinton group .com. Cool. Frank, is the best preferred method of contact uh, email or phone? Um, well, you know, I, I actually am usually busy. I'm surprised you got me. So uh, this is my cell phone. How'd you get my cell phone? Oh, you put it on the ad. Oh, yeah, yes, I did. Uh, yeah, so you can shoot me a text. Awesome. Cool. Well, thanks. Thank you, Frank. Uh, I'll swing past on the weekend and check out the open house. And if you're there, I'll say good day. If not, I'll have a chat to your wife. Cool. Cool. Right. Hey, you, you working with any buyers, Jesse? Uh, yeah, no, we're always, yeah, yeah, we're always working with buyers. Um, I just, I just don't want to tell you I've got a buyer if I haven't got a buyer for your property yet. Really, I was going to say, bring them by. We are cooperating with buyers. Okay, cool. Or buyers agents. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll see if I can draw up a buyer in the next day or so and bring them past. Okay. Cool. All right. See you then. All right, y'all. That was good, man. Give it up. Good job, guys. Awesome. All right, so what do you think? What do you think, Jim? Was he a little tough on you? Yeah, it was, it was good. I kind of – I get a little bit confused. I've been – I've been – I'm pretty new to the game, actually, and I've been struggling with my scripts. And I, I go off script, and I've got about three different scripts I'm working, so I'm trying to blend them and get the best out of it. And i found that – with my Fizbo's, a lot of them push back because they're all advertising themselves, doing it themselves. So I take it like a softly, softly approach and I, I don't try and close them on the first one. And then I'm really diligent with my follow-up. And that's kind of where I try and push it. So I, I don't tell them I've got buyers uh, necessarily because my role too here, I'm an inside sales agent. So I don't actually go out and do these previews and yeah. Our guys get the shits if we send them to an appointment that's a preview. So I try and um, not not tell them we've got something we don't. I just say, look, we're trying to get a, a feel for the inventory and know what's everything's out there, and then we try and pa patch it up to one of our buyers. So I try that. Okay. I think you did a great job. I think that uh, if you've been new to the game, you 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 followed the script pretty well, and that was good, man. Yeah, I mean, so somebody, something comes up like that. I mean, you're like, yeah, you, you know, you're an inside sales agent. Like, I mean, yes, I mean, we do work with buyers. In fact, in the last 30 days, you know, we sold 17 properties and half of those were buyers. So, you know, what would be the best time for me to come out and show you how we find buyers for homes like yours? Lowe's, right on there. That's awesome. Nice, Frank. How about you, Frank? How'd you feel on that whole process? How did I feel about it? I felt it. I, you know, cause we went. We role played this the other day. I just uh, you got three different things in front of you, and if you're new at it, that's gonna you're gonna confuse yourself. So, I would just stick to you know, you know stick to one. Like when you're on that call, know which one you're gonna use. Yeah. And certainly, maybe you can pull from another one, but stay focused on one. Once you get it down and you get it embedded and you know it and you read it enough, and you practice it enough, you'll start being able to just pull out of that or subconsciously or unconsciously, and you know, you'll know you be a Jedi with, with those scripts. Just keep, just keep doing what you're doing. Quick, quick question, Frank. Did you, give me any, did you give me a layup and I miss it? Would you say a layup? Yeah, like did you give me an opening that I- Well, I, you know, not, I don't think I, you missed anything. I just like, I, what, the reason I said, uh, you know, something with the buyers in the end and, and I just gave that point was just so that you can go for the, you don't, don't feel that I understand that you want to be soft in the beginning. Um, but don't be afraid to go for a close. If there's an opportunity that arises, as I'll yeah. probably appreciate that more and, and they're going to meet you face to face. So that's, what's really going to like build you up. Yeah. And then I, I think that you, you don't be afraid to go for that. Because a lot of those people, even though I'm newer here, yep. 
they're under contract and, and so they're, they're, they're probably worried about carrying two properties in the next few months. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like going for the close exudes confidence too. And so you want them, you want to, you want to show confidence by going for it a few times. Okay. Cool. Also, do we have the motivation at all where they're moving to? What does that mean? Why is that important to you? How fast you want to get there? Yep. That's good. Good stuff, guys. So, so just uh, one last thing for wrap this up. Um, each one of you, if you can, you know, Frank, Tracy, Jim, yep. give us what, what's one of your best closes you're using over the phone. Hmm. So the best, yeah. You know, we all can leave with just one. Like, what's the best close? Well, uh, if you knew without any doubt that I had the highest probability of selling your home, wouldn't it be worth 15 minutes to sit down so I could show you what we do differently to get properties like you're sold? Yeah, I guess it would, Frank. 15 minutes. Yeah, sure. That's good. I like it. So if you, so if you had, if you knew I had the highest probability, it wouldn't hurt to meet for 15 minutes and then you give them the, the choices. That's good. Got it. Perfect. Good. I like it. Trace, how about you? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Okay. No worries. Jim, how about you? Um, I, I pull it back to our team is uh, sort of value. Uh, we've got four ISAs and it kind of usually gets the most sort of impact. I say, look, there's four of us sitting here five days a week, uh, just cold calling and prospecting. Uh, each, each person touches between 50 and 100 a day. That equates to another 1,000 or 2,000 contacts a week that we're talking to about your home. Would you like to hear about a little bit more about what else we do? Okay, good. So give them the value about, your, about how many contacts you make. Yeah. I really use our, I use our buyer specialist. I use Amy McIntyre pretty heavily because she's one of the, she carries one of the largest amounts of transactions on our, in our whole company, just buyers alone. And so when I'm trying to, I do only listings. So when I'm trying to get an appointment, I use her as sort of my backup in that way. Something about, you know, I'd like to see your home so that I can convey this information to my lead buyer specialist um, because she's got buyers all the time looking for things that she hasn't been able to find yet. So they seem to be kind of intrigued by that. Well, tell me what the script is then. How do you close them on that? So, so what do you say? I don't, I can't really say it right now. I don't know. I mean, I just, just that. I say, you know, I'd like the opportunity to preview our home so that I can share that information with our lead buyer specialist. Well, in the last company. couple, you've taken Amy with you. So it's very powerful. Right. You've gone together with her. And Amy and I present really well together. So we sort of play off of each other and it's been very effective. I mean, the guy last night just told us that, you know, he wasn't going to use the person before us because he liked us so much together. That's cool. There's power in numbers, right? Power of going together yeah. as a team. Yeah. I think a lot of people also respect the fact that we stay in our lanes. Like I do one thing and then she does the other instead of me trying to do the entire piece. Yeah. That's cool. All right. Good. Good insight, guys. All right. Cool. Well, any other thoughts here before we wrap up? Well, Jeff, I can give you what I use. Yeah, please. Go ahead. It's from Bob Loeffler. So I just say, if I could virtually guarantee you of two things, one, that I can sell your home and that I can net you more and more money than you ever could, would you like to have an appointment with me today at three or at four? And I automatically kind of get in because they want to net. All they hear is about selling their home and netting more money. Okay, awesome. We can't see you in case you're, you're, you're kind of Well, there. you can see me up here. <laughs> okay, nope, no worries. Oh, there's two devs. You got okay, this over here? Oh, you're live in, there you go. You're logged in twice. I got you. Cool. Yeah, I'm not okay. I know ours. Um, yeah, that's good. So, so you're saying they're going to give them a, if you know I can net you the most. Yeah, well, it just says if I can virtually guarantee you that I can sell your home for the most money and net you, that your home will sell and they'll net you more and more money than, than you could get, would you want to meet with me today at three or four? And they say yes. Good. So you can, you can give them two choices. I like that one. That's good. Perfect. Yeah, sorry I'm logged in twice. It's just I was listening to Leader Shift, and I can't get John Maxwell off my laptop. <laughs> no worries. So I had to put you on coach. All right, guys, any other last thoughts? One more? One more comment? Anybody? Are we no, good? I thought it was cool. I'd like to do it again. All right, we'll put it out there. Let's, uh, we'll invite a couple other teams, and we can, you know, or, or, or other. Obviously, I got your people on your team and our rest of our agents. I want to step all of our agents up to come in here and do this each week, so... I'll put it back out there again, and we can come meet same time, same place next week if you want to just do this. That's cool. Yes, Scotty versus Kathleen the Hammer. Right. <laughs>
No, it's good because we're getting. We're, I think it's a, a collaborative way to see what. Let's um, go. Everybody, uh, the way that they are in their respective market. Why didn't Jesse the body do anything? I guess you have to see next week, huh? Oh, there you go. Boom. Ah. <laughs> The gauntlet has been myself. thrown. Ugh. All right. Well, we got Rob. I know Rob. Rob's already nominated himself for next week, so we'll get you. Okay. Over. All right. All right. Yeah, I'm cool. All right. So not next week, though. But yeah, I know I'm ready to go. Start right. studying, Jesse. I've got your number. Hi, <laughs> right, guys. Well, thank you all for joining. I'll, uh, this is recorded. So yeah. Yeah. Everybody. You guys did awesome. Jim, good job, man. Yeah, good job. Everybody. All right. You guys did great. Thanks, guys. All right, guys.